Uh, this is IELT V810 uh, Lab 4 tutorial. Today's topic is Intel. Then we'll study external Intel. And we will introduce um, Intel priority. Our example is the PS2 keyboard. Uh, of course, uh, with the lab manual before you start the experiments, uh, if the board is version 1, then you can find the PS2 interface here. Uh, if the board is version 3, the uh, PS2 interface has been removed. Then we add the extra uh, PS2 interface, then your board will like this. Okay, what is interrupt? Now, before using interrupt, then we will use polling, same as lab 1. Um, right here, then we will take time to read the hardware, hardware keyboard. Then uh, it will take time. So if this uh, with the keypad is uh, take the time long, then uh, we will waste the time for the uh, look up to take uh, check the keypad, and the sequence will uh, uneven the weight. But because the key one always respond uh, faster than key two, then if I have uh, for example if one key will take ten milliseconds, the next one we we do that. Then, if I have 100 key, what happened? Then you take one second to read the keypad. Then, if you change to the uh, interrupt, then you no need to check the keypad status. Then you only check the result, the the key res uh, the keypad result. Then you can make the decision and output. So, uh, when some keystroke happen like this, then you uh, the system you go to the interrupt handler. Like or exception handler, then uh, the process will in inside the ex uh, the ex handler. <coughs> now compare the polling and interrupt. You you do the polling, then you have take time to read the hardware. Uh, but if you use the interrupt, then uh, we will you miss the. Uh, Ignore this part, then you directly check the status, the result, and make decision and make the output. Okay, well, external intop in the M3. Now, M3 support 240 exceptions or interrupts. Only 60 uh, is implement, uh, implemented on this model. And uh, each interrupt with a handler called the ILQ. And only a uh, lighting uh, external intop in this TCPU, okay, and will connect to the uh, GPIO pins. Uh, some is uh, has individual ILQ and some share to uh, one ILQ. Okay, let us uh, use an image to describe this. Now, M3 has two hundred forty exception. But this model F thirty two F one O V only implement sixty only. Then we are focused on this sixty exception. Now um, it includes some external interrupt, external uh, interrupt, and other another remaining interrupt is for the communication. Uh, in this ex nineteen external interrupt, uh, 60, 16 is for physical pin. <coughs> And another is for wake up. Okay, then uh, this nineteen external interrupt uh, from the physical pin one to uh, fifteen, uh, same as the po uh, the port A B C D E F G uh, has uh, different pins. Then some external interrupt has individual I L Q interrupt request, and some will share one I L Q. Okay, so like five to nine and ten to fifteen. Share ILQ. Now, uh, go back here. Then with physical pins. Uh, if the external interrupt zero, then you come from the pin physical pin zero, maybe A B C D E F G. Then uh, you have to select which uh, the zero come from A B C D E F G. Which one? Okay. So E X T I zero is come from pin zero. EXTI1 come from uh, 
pin 1 and <coughs> here uh, external interlock 0 the IOQ number is 6 log 0 here then you can check the table uh, ESTI 0 the IOQ number is 6 ESTI 1 the IOQ number is 7 okay now then um, this is the front page of the manual then you can see uh, we have 112 IO then we have external 16 external intop so like this then uh, means that which pin uh, each pin AP, uh, C1, 2, 3, 4, 5 has individual uh, interlock but you can select from A, B, C, D, F, G how to select uh, the external interlock from A, B, C, D, F, G then uh, this register okay then uh, each register CR1 for example CR1 control the ESTI 0 1, 2, 3 uh, CR2 control the uh, ESTI 4, 5, 6 and 7 something like that so uh, it's contain 4 bit means that you can select the uh, 60 port but um, we only have a 7 port ok then same as that one depend your configuration uh, if the configuration like this then when you plus it will go uh, means that this port will go to low uh, if the co circuit configuration like this then when you press the key then uh, we'll connect the high to this pin so we'll from low to high this from um, high to low this from low to high so uh, in interlock you can send you can find uh, is the the edge is falling or uh, uh, edge is uh, rising now here is the register um, external pin this is external pin then you can use the register uh, rising trigger selection or, or falling trigger selection select the rising edge or falling edge and uh, this is two register means that you can select both rising trigger and falling trigger both then the, when uh, select trigger that this is or, or gate it means that uh, you can use uh, software interrupt you can set the register force uh, the external trigger no need to pass the key and you can use a software in your program to force the trigger then after that uh, we we'll go to here is a LAN gate LAN gate then um, at this end gate then in, uh, we an internal mask register means that you can mask mask means that enable or disable this interrupt then use the mask then uh, if the mask is ok then uh, we'll go to here then we'll arise the pending register the facts means that uh, it's pending then uh, after pending set the register then we'll go to NBIC the interrupt control that will pause us uh, the interrupt so we will use some uh, register like this uh, rising or falling and mass register ok then uh, next part is priority now priority you have to set the priority of um, each exception ok then this is a very critical job then a uh, priority is uh, it's called the priority group in this register then um, because priority is very critical so uh, you have to define the priority before you program do not modify uh, the priority uh, when you're doing the uh, programming uh, because we will crash your system and unpredictable un result now this uh, given program to set the priority ok now the priority group the register here in this AIRCR and the only uh, fee bit 8, 9, 10 fee bit to set it set uh, that priority then 3 bit you can get the 8 combination 
age combination like this, then uh, then we'll set the PM and sub priority field. Uh, you you think you you cannot understand means that you can select the PBPB is one S and two S V S something like that. This is PM priority. This is sub priority field. Okay. Then uh, this model, our model only implement uh, this four part. It means that uh, the original uh, M V like this M V. You can set a lot of the P and one S, two S, V S, something like that. Then, but this model only implement half. So when you set uh, zero, one, two, V, they are same. Then four, five, six, seven. You can see the part, the PM and sub priority distribution like this. Now, how to describe that? Um, in net four, we will set the priority to five. Means that I will derive the uh, priority to the two uh, a four two bit for uh, PM priority and two bit for sub priority. Uh, two bit means that four combination, okay? Four combination for uh, PM and four combination for sub priority. So uh, what's the PM priority? Uh, PM priority um, the interrupt. Uh, then uh, divide it from 0 to 255 that means the 256 level then we will in divide it into a 4 PM probability means that this one okay this is a P and uh, can we will divide the, the PM priority to the sub priority for uh, group stand this is CS Okay, is that okay? Now, uh, the priority is the part of the NVMC lot related to the hardware part. From here, we are talking about the NVMC here, is the priority for here. Okay, uh, how to set the procedures now? <coughs> uh, each external, ex uh, external intop, then you, ha you have to uh, config the GPL pins. Enable the code, uh, set the interrupt source, the trigger condition, uh, you have to check the IOQ number to write the program, and set the priority. And not the last step is enable. Enable is the last step. Um, the IOQ, uh, the name of the handler is uh, de divided in the, this file, so you, have, you can check uh, the handler name. In our program, uh, we will set uh, XTI2. Okay. <coughs> uh, set the party to 65. The key 2, 65 here. Then, uh, in the experiment, now we will set the key 2, the party. Uh, 6 five and control the output uh, L, uh, LED DS0 and uh, you create another external interrupt handler uh, the key up set the party 75 and control the DS1 okay then uh, expand 4.3 and 4.5 then I uh, change the key up to uh, the parties live 5 and V5 and also control the DS2 DS1 it means that uh, key up you will set the party V5 75 and 95 then compare the uh, the key to uh, 65 okay then what are the difference or the priority now if no problem of the uh, Know the priority, then we will use a PS2 keyboard. PS2 keyboard, uh, the socket like this. <coughs> Actually, we will use a piece data pin and copy. In. Okay, uh, data pin is like that. Uh, it's very similar to uh, HP1. 
this party. A data bit, start bit, stop bit, uh, same as AP1 in lab 2. Then uh, this time we will have another zero, it's cock zero. The cock zero uh, will go down, for, uh, falling edge will, uh, the data will the center of the data, data bit. So you can use at this time to take the data, it's correct. Now I say the uh, UART is a uh, common protocol, so then you can see uh, this PS2 use a UART protocol. But in UART, uh, USART is universal synchronous and asynchronous receipt and transmitter. But this time we have the cock zero, so um, this is synchronous. This is a cock zero. In lab two, we don't have the cock zero, so in lab two, we this is asynchronous. Then uh, in PS2, lot the lab three use ASCII uh, code. Then uh, PS2 code we use a scan code, the link the scan code. Then we press the key that will send a date, uh, the key. Okay. Now, if you press the A, press down the A, they will send 1C, right? Then, but you, when you release the key, what happened? We will send 0F, 1C. 0F means a release. So, 1C is the pass 1C and release 1C, something like that. So, you can do the control or turn it delete. It's, it's very simple. And when you hold down the key, then you can see the repeat as A A A A means that one C will uh, will automatically repeat. Now this is another table. Uh, you see the scan code. Okay, then uh, in this part you decide the program. Use the um, the code to PC eleven uh, because the hardware connected. Uh, data to PC ten. Then uh, use the clock zero as a interrupt. interrupt. Okay. Then uh, you can use uh, LED to interrupt. The, the indicator the interrupt is uh, working uh, because we don't have the oscilloscope this time. Then uh, when you pass down the key, then you can see total 11 uh, clock zero. Means that uh, you can you have to count number of the interrupt means that when the, com uh, the card number to 11 means that the computer scan code okay then uh, store the, uh, the this, uh, scan code to the variable then uh, pause as a variable in the uh, main program not to not pause as the, uh, the scan code in the uh, interrupt routine if you have the in scope, you can uh, understand, easy to understand because you can measure the waveform. Okay, now remember, uh, we'll try 11. Okay. And uh, here, one problem. If your external, if, you, if your uh, handle is very soft, then when you are uh, a key, the uh, priority is a uh, some problem then you have to do uh, a little bit waste time a little bit because it's a live pipeline problem okay then uh the other method is the uh, duplicate this line you do the key interrupt uh, the priority twice okay then this uh, program uh, the main program we give you, then uh, you tr you fill up the the, the program, then do the uh, how to uh, get the keys look. Okay. Now the hint is that uh, when you pass the key, then the keyboard will generate a lot of the interrupt, a lot of clock zero. Then in the each uh, clock interrupt or handler, get the data here. And uh, just jot down the data here. Okay. Then when uh, if the count the number is enough, then we'll pause us um, the key of scan code. Main C. Do not um, pause us the scan code uh, in the subroutine and the handler subroutine uh, because we want the handler is as simple as possible. Okay. Then use that two channel. If you have scope, you have two channel, um, then you have to set the trigger 
or single trigger or normal trigger do not use auto trigger then uh, trigger the cord this one okay then uh, you can get it away from like this now the charge question uh, we don't have uh, we didn't we didn't do the uh, seal port receiving right in nap 2 then uh, because uh, I don't want introduce polling to solve the problem then um, now you load the interrupt then you can try to handle the you are the receiving use the interrupt to solve the problem okay